In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create two bends in one single object like this, using the simple deform modifier in Blender. It is easy, we just need some modifiers with suitable setup. We'll take a long cylinder, or a pipe object, and create two such bends at the two ends of the pipe, by adding the modifiers. So, let us start with the base file of this tutorial. We have got a pipe object, and we'll create two 90 degree bends, at the two ends of this pipe, somewhere at these points. But before that, we need to create two vertex groups from this object. So select the object, and let us go to the edit mode. We have already created enough subdivisions for this pipe, which is very important for the simple deform modifier to work. Now turn on the X-ray selection mode from here. Then press 3 on the number keypad to go to the front view. To select everything and make a selection like this. Let us select up to 8 holes. Then go to this object data properties tab. Click on the plus button to add a vertex group. Let us rename this as group 1. While these vertex points are selected, click on this assign button to assign these vertices into this vertex group. Now, to select everything and make another selection from this end. Please remember to keep the X-ray selection on. Let us then create one more vertex group. We'll call this as group 2. Then click on the assign button to assign this set of vertex points to this second group. Now we can go back to the object mode. So, we are ready with the pipe. We can now add the modifiers and create the bends, but we need some guiding object in order to apply the simple deform modifier with precision and perfection. So, let us add one empty, maybe a sphere. We need to ensure that this empty has the same location and rotation transformations as that of the pipe. For this object, we can see that the Z location is 7, and the X rotation has got 90 degrees. So select the empty, and change the Z location to 7, and the X rotation to 90 degrees. Now select our pipe, and go to the modifiers tab. Let us add one, simple deform modifier. Switch over to the bend tab. And in the origin field, select the empty object. Then expand this restriction section. In the vertex group, let us select the vertex group 1. So this modifier will take effect only on this part of the object. But you can see that we got some distortions in the pipe created at this particular section due to our manipulation. We can easily remove this. We have to just move our empty to this particular position. So pick up the move tool and move it slowly toward the point of distortion. Perfect. Let us select the pipe once again. Now, we'll use these limit values to restrict the bend only in this section of the pipe. Let us slowly increase the lower limit. We can go up to point 3, or maybe point 4, this should approximately match with our vertex group. And the upper limit can be reduced at the same time. Maybe somewhere like this. We'll now increase this bend angle. As we go higher, the bend also gets sharper, but even with full 360, you can notice that the bend itself is not even 90. We'll see how to increase it further. You can also switch this bend axis if you want to change the bend orientation horizontally. Now, if we move this empty object slightly, it will impact the bend angle to a big extent. This is also one way to change this angle. But if you move it too much, the distortions will come back. So let us leave it as it is. Instead, in the restrictions, you can slowly change the limits to control the bend angle as per your requirement. So we got a 90 degree bend. Now we will create a second bend around this section. We need one more empty here. So select this empty and press shift D to duplicate it. Then move it along the pipe somewhere here. Select the pipe again. We'll add one more simple deform modifier along with this to create the second bend over here. So minimize this modifier, and add another, simple deform modifier. Switch over to the bend option, and in the origin field, this time select the second empty. And, let us go with the Y axis, it will create a bend on this horizontal plane. Under the restrictions, in the vertex group, select this second group. Now, let us change this limit to somewhere between point 3 and point 4. And the upper limit should be little higher than the lower limit. But as you can see, we got some distortions here in our pipe. 
We know how to handle this, so like before, we'll just move this empty, toward the point of distortion, so that we can have a very smooth bend. Okay, this looks good. Next, we'll work on the bend angle. Let us make it little more perfect. Maybe like this. Now, if you increase the bend angle, the pipe will bend further. This way, you can control the bend easily. Or you can also control the bend angle by changing these limits as suitable. Ideally, you should use both of them together to get the perfect shape. And if you switch over to the x-axis, you'll get this upright bend, so the two bends in our pipe will be in two different directions. That is how you can bend a pipe multiple times. You can create some awesome geometrical shapes by adding more than one simple deform modifiers. And if you are new to this, you can check our tutorial just on this modifier, where we have discussed all settings, the link is in the video description. So, that's all we wanted to discuss. I hope you liked today's topic. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.